Hi guys and welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. So today I have had a Killstar delivery. This is my second attempt of doing this video. So guys, I have already filmed this like a deja vu. And unfortunately, my hard drive, like my, my drive that has all my videos on, I forgot to delete all the folders that I've had on there, which I've uploaded onto my YouTube. And unfortunately, I'd run out of space. My computer didn't tell me. I cut my copies and pasted into the files. They didn't copy across because there was no room. So I lost everything, everything, the two videos that I spent a good hour doing. So here we are again, take two. So guys, I've had a kill side delivery today. This again is part of my Christmas things that I've had delivered um, off my mom. So I've had money off my mom and I've been buying all my own things. So anything you see in the upcoming like run up to Christmas are gifts that I've, I've been gifted. I haven't bought anything necessary like just random for the sake of it. I've bought these because these are my Christmas presents and I'm having them like delivered now but I'm not having them. They're getting put away. So guys it is open because obviously I have filmed this already. And I have literally took pictures of this. I will put some pictures at the end so you can see what it actually looked like um, together. But it was a buy one, get one free, guys. And that is the only reason that I went for these things. So the bag I've been wanting for ages, absolutely ages. And um, I was just waiting for Black Friday, basically. But then this offer came on and I thought, Do you know what? I've got so many left of my mom. Just get it. So I paid $29.99 for this bag, guys, and I got this free. So this was £27. I cannot justify paying £27 for a belt, usually. But because I got this free, I went ahead and got it. Don't normally wear belts, guys, to be completely honest. Um, I'm allergic to pewter. So all this here will have pewter in it. And if I was to wear this, like over my actual skin, this part and these parts would irritate me and I'd break out in a really bad, horrible, itchy rash and I don't like it, it looks ugly. So, <coughs> because I'm gonna be wearing this over my clothing, I thought, why not? And I've got a thing about pentagrams at the minute, so, and chains, so I was rather like drawn to it. So I grabbed this for free, guys. I will show you what it looks like properly in a minute. But this is the main item that I wanted and ordered. So I'm going to just take it out of the bag. It does come in these like freshener bags. I keep all my bags in these because I think while you're not using them, it keeps them fresh and stops them from getting mouldy and so forth. Um, I've got the cereal in this, guys, the cereal bag. And I absolutely love it. And it's being put away for Christmas, so I couldn't bring it back down to, to show you. But this is the goth juice bag. I had to have it. I just had to have the set. And I actually I go ahead and buy in, well... I've got another one coming, which is a Starbucks one, and I can't resist. So that's the only bags I'm going to get now. I've got four bags from Killstar, and I'm quite happy with them four bags. I might get the Spell bag next year. Might. We'll see. Or any more quirky bags like this come out, I probably will buy them. But I, I just had to have this. So this is the um, Goth Juice handbag. As you can see, it's got lots of gothy kind of phrases. Fresh taste to match your black soul. 100% horroganic, <laughs> I love it. And then it's got a skull cut in half, it just looks like um, goth orange juice. And then it has the nutrition facts, which are pretty much the same as the cereal one. It has darkness, 100%, sunshine, nothing, witchcraft, 666, boring, zero, strange, 100%, and unusual, 100% all the way. So guys, this is a strap, it is just an actual handbag. It's not like a backpack or anything like the cereal one, it's two in one. Again, it has this chain effect and then the leather strap. I absolutely have a thing about chains, so I'm quite happy. I've got a lot of handbags that are chain straps, so I, I just love it. I just love this. And it's magnetic, guys, so as you can see, it's not closing like straight, and I think it's because it's got the packaging all around it. Size-wise, guys, it's very, like, it's, it's depth, it's deep. But it's not very wide, so I wouldn't fit my Killstar purse in here if I wanted to take my Killstar purse out. It'd have to be a bit wider. But I do have this little coin purse, which I'll take out and put my money in there and just slop it in. You can fit your phone in it, but you can't fit the phone in the pocket. So in the pocket, I probably just put like my eyeliners and my mascara and my lipstick. Um, you can fit deodorant in here, hairbrush, phone, your purse, 
bearing in mind it's this size. Um, and even if it's time of the month for you ladies, which I don't have that worry because I've had a hysterectomy, um, you can still fit it in there. And secure wise guys, I always worry about these type of bags for the simple reason somebody could just open that and get in it really quickly which is why i like the fact that i'd have this kind of purse because it'd be right down to the bloody bottom and if somebody wanted to put their hands in there you'd feel them let's admit you would feel somebody's hands go down there now i'm not too sure what the actual material of this i think it's like four leather um material and it's very very um i don't know if it'd be hard wearing i mean it feels quite solid to be honest with you guys it feels more solid than the cereal one. Um, this was $29.99, guys. So would you pay that for a bag? Usually, I have paid a lot of money for my bags. I don't collect bags. I'm not a big bag person, but I do have like a couple of Iron Fist bags. I used to have Ann Stoke bags. I got rid of them because they were way too heavy for my back. Um, I do still have some Ann Stokes like rucksack kind of bags and I've got like skull kind of bags and gothic bags that are quite lightweight for me to take out when I go out. Um, I've got a bum bag which I use for like everyday use but this is probably what I'd use as a night out going out bag and I've got a few of them now so I'm quite happy with that. So it's $29.99 guys and um, they do still have them. They have the cereal bags. I would imagine that maybe in another six months time, these would end up in the um, clearance section. So if you wanted to hang on to them, by all means, I can imagine these will sell out eventually because they're quite popular. I will say a lot of a lot of ladies and gentlemen will buy these to collect more than anything. So that was that one, guys, which I'm happy with. It's a bit hard to get in this bag, but I will keep it in here. It was in a cellophane bag, guys. I have took it out of that cellophane bag. It was parceled really um, nicely. Ooh, my hair's falling out. Let me just grab that, guys. So that was that. And then, obviously, I got the belt free, which is usually £27, I think it was. Um, so it's got this pentagram design with the chain hanging off, which I absolutely love. And then, as you know, I love the stud thing. So I do like the fact that these are metal studs. I love this. I think this is a brilliant accessory to have with a nice black number. Nice black dress, black skirt, black leggings, black trousers, black, black, anything, not even black. Red, purple. Now I've got like the pentagram shoes, so I'm quite happy that my pentagram shoes will match this. I have took photos with them, so you'll get to see at the end. But guys, it's not very long, so it does fit me, and it is fitting me on the tightest one, like now. I'm quite um, thin on the waist, but big on the hips. So it fits my waist. Maybe when I've lost a bit more weight, I could go up a notch, but it's at number two at the minute. And I could put a hole in it if I'm a bit bloated. I mean, how many of you people um, eat a full meal before you go out on a night out? I personally don't. I will eat like a big dinner. And by the time it's to go out, my tummy's kind of flat again. I hate going out on a full belly and you're all bloated and, bleh, and you can't drink. And So yeah, that is that, guys. So that is probably the last of this Kill Star for now. I do have a couple of Kill Star things, which are presents that are coming. And obviously that bag, which I will show you. But um, there's been a lot of things going on with Kill Star at the minute. I mean, one of my friends, Alicia, the Moon and Stars, had a massive order that went missing and they're not paying her back. They will not refund her. And I just think that's really wrong. If you're quick enough to take the money, you should be quick enough to give it back. And that is just the way I look at it. I've had issues in the past where I've had to give people refunds, um, not because there's anything wrong with it, because they were difficult. But all the same, I, I refunded them because by law, you know, it's their money. I mean, obviously the goods came back to me and that's when I realised that I was... I was being conned but we live and we learn all right guys take care of yourself hope you like this video pop your comments on below let me know if you got the goth bags and what do you think about them are you into these kind of belts i have got an order coming from the lovely scarlet and chains we've had a, a good talk with drew and sophie the other day about like what i want next year because they're going to be making me a few pieces stick around for that sometime next year um, hopefully my birthday around February and I've actually got another order coming from them which is a customised piece it's not 
massively customised, but I've just had a few things changed. So that's coming very, very soon, so watch out for that. And I am going to be ordering one of their belts. I'm not a big belt person, but their change does not have pewter in it. So I know that I will get like a reaction from the um, jewellery and their belts, which is a very good thing to know. All right, guys, I'm not filming this again. Hopefully I'll get it on my system this time. <laughs> so take care of yourself, keep warm, and um, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye for now.